Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to use the ideal gas equation to work out the molar mass of a chemical. Over the last few videos we've been looking at the ideal gas equation and we've seen how useful this equation is when working with gases at a range of temperatures and pressures. Now we can use the ideal gas equation to work out the molar mass of a liquid chemical and we're going to look at that in this video. Ok, first we take a gas syringe with a small cap on the end and we use a balance to find the mass of the empty syringe and the cap. Now we remove the cap and draw a small volume of our chemical into the syringe. We now replace the cap to seal the chemical in the syringe. Next we reweigh the gas syringe containing the chemical plus the cap. At this point we can now calculate the mass of chemical in the syringe. To do this we subtract the initial mass of the empty syringe plus the cap from the mass of the syringe containing the chemical plus the cap. Now we need to boil the chemical so it turns from a liquid into a gas. To do this we place the syringe into a beaker of boiling water. Ok now once the chemical is boiled we can read the volume of the gas from the scale on the gas syringe and we can use the volume to work out the molar mass of the chemical. Now I should just point out that this method only works for chemicals with a boiling point less than 100 degrees celsius. That's because 100 degrees celsius is the temperature of boiling water. If we wanted to use a chemical with a boiling point greater than 100 degrees celsius then we'd have to use an oil bath rather than a water bath. In the next section I'll show you how to carry out the calculation to work out the molar mass of our chemical. Ok, we're going to use the results of our experiment to work out the molar mass of our chemical. Here's our question. 0.267 grams of chemical evaporated to produce a volume of 97 centimeters cubed. The temperature was 100 degrees celsius and the pressure was 101,000 pascals. Calculate the molar mass of the chemical. Ok, first we need to use the ideal gas equation to work out the number of moles of our chemical in the gas syringe. I've rearranged the ideal gas equation for the amount of substance in moles here. In this experiment the pressure is atmospheric pressure, in other words 101,000 pascals. The gas volume was 97 centimeters cubed. We need to convert this to meters cubed by dividing by 1 million. This gives us a volume of 0.00097 meters cubed. The ideal gas constant has a value of 8.314 joules per mole per kelvin. The temperature is 100 degrees celsius. We need to convert that to Kelvin by adding 273. This gives us a temperature of 373 Kelvin. Putting these numbers into the equation tells us that we have 0.00316 moles. Ok, now we know the mass of the chemical and the number of moles of the chemical. So now we can calculate the molar mass. To do that we use this equation. The amount of substance in moles equals the mass in grams divided by the molar mass in grams per mole. We can rearrange this to calculate the molar mass. The molar mass equals the mass in grams divided by the amount of substance in moles. The mass of chemical is 0.267 grams and the amount of substance is 0.00316 moles. This gives us a molar mass of 84.5 grams per mole. Ok, so hopefully now you can use the ideal gas equation to calculate the molar mass of a chemical. Mm -hmm. 